about to go in here and work uh, some accessory muscles. Got my crazy ass son with me today. Should be fun. Hopefully it's quick. Dando's got bur he's got burgers cooking and some free tots. And the best food is free food. Remember that. What's your problem? I dropped this. Well, I got nothing to do. You know, this is an accessory workout. Nothing too, too big or nothing too crazy. Nothing too new. Um, just you know, the main purpose is just to get blood and you know, flow into some of those areas that we you know we worked the day prior, which was deadlifts. Uh, here you see me doing some uh, reverse grip <clears throat> rows. I do those in the Smith machine usually when I first start off because my back is tight. Just until I loosen up a little bit, and then I just move ahead to uh, look at the barbell, um, barbell rows. We got Brad being Brad. It was just you know just doing our warm-up sets you know just trying to get warmed up and loose yeah, I, got me. I think I only go for four reps right here with this this was like my fourth set I was I did a little slight pyramid got up there get some feeling some weight trying to get full range of motion and, and contract at the rear to you know force blood back there and fill the pump you know, at our gym, we don't have a typical, you know, regular cable roll machine, so we're just trying to make do for what we have in there. So here I am doing some one-arm cable rolls, just once, like like I said before, just getting the pump, you know, just trying to force blood back there, you know, make it feel like I actually am doing something. You know, here um, I only got, I only included this footage in there because you know my son is in there and he's a big part of what I do and, and why I do it. You know, uh, he's he's my legacy. You know, so anytime I can get him in the gym, you know, even though he doesn't do much in there, at least he's around that environment. So that you know, whatever I do, decide to start training him when he's a little bit older, you know, he'll, he'll feel comfortable in there and he won't have any you know stigmas about you know about you know going in there and being scared. So I like to include him, you know, anytime I have him on the weekends, you know, I bring him in there. Luckily, you know, the compound, it's located on the, you know, I mean, the gym's located on the compound, you know, we pretty much can do whatever we want to in there and bring whoever we want, you know, as long as we're being safe and, and watching, watching, you know, what they're doing in there to make sure they ain't doing anything too crazy. You know, uh, when I first started, after surgery doing you know trying to lift strain my core good mornings is one of my least favorite things you know just to I can feel every part of this movement you know with the muscles pulling against the hardware of my lower back and sometimes I can feel it especially if I'm tight it's just a very uncomfortable feeling so I try to do strict you know strict you know reps when I'm doing these you know focusing on you know squeezing the glutes and, and keeping the back tight and uh, you know just trying to strengthen up that muscle around all that hardware down there I included this in here, Brad, he does his good mornings, you know, a little bit, I think he gets a little bit more deeper than I do in there, but you know, that's Brad, that's what he does, because he's the standard, if you look in the back, you see my son over there trying to figure out the roll machine, and there I am, you know, doing, I don't even know what the hell I was doing at this point, I think it was just dying, going through the motion, well, I said, hey, I'm going to press this up a couple times, so that's what I'm doing over there while Brad's doing his thing, we're just doing some presses, and then here comes Brad, he's like, you know what? I want to make uh, his dad look uh, like a goofball and uh, and do this and, and seem more manlier than uh, than him. So I'm gonna do these uh, squats over here with no hands. And you see me look at the camera with disapproval. Say, oh, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. And there he goes. He's well, making his way back. Fucking Brad. All quads and traps. And this is a RDLs. Uh, it's another lower back, you know, hamstring type exercise that I like to do. You know, the same thing as before, squeezing the glutes, you know, focusing on strict range, you know, strip, uh, strict form, and, and trying to get a full range of motion. I talk here to mention my son. I'm like, yeah, son, check out these one-man deadlifts. He's like, damn, dad, that's cool. I'll be like, yeah, one day you'll be doing these RDLs. You don't even know. You don't even know how hard these things are. I'm like, yeah, dad, you're the greatest. You know, 
you're the best dad in the world. And I'm like, I know, son. I try. You know, I work out. I take creatine. And then, then he gives fucking Brad a high five in the background. Like, I'm not even nobody. No high five for me. No high five for dad. So right here, you know, this basically right here is the babysitter for my son. It's called a tablet with data. Get it. Get it, dads. And, you know, this is what me and my son do on our own time. You know, he, uh, he hooks me up, cleans my forehead for me, you know, wipes me off. So, like I said, nothing real special about this accessory workout. Just wanted to get it out there, show you some of the things that Brad and myself do uh, for this back accessory type thing. And uh, enjoy, bitches.